to see that it's now possible with the discovery of C4 and its role in schizophrenia to really pin down an important molecular process and know that it's playing a causal role. It's taking what has been a black box for a century and letting us peek inside for the first time. And that is amazingly consequential. Our model of open collaboration, of respecting the, the approaches and needs of academic labs, but at the same time being very mission driven and having the resources that the truly astonishing philanthropy of Ted and Veda Stanley uh, have entrusted us with, uh, we've been able to attract and engage some of the most amazingly talented people, I think, in the world. What Stanley Center's allowed us to do and the Broad has allowed us to do is to, is to move a project that otherwise would have taken years and years to get off the ground, to move this forward in a much more rapid pace. Over the last several decades, even as we've made enormous progress in treating illnesses like cancer and cardiovascular illness, it has been frustrating for many people to watch the comparative lack of progress in understanding illnesses of the brain. The Broad Institute and the Stanley Center and our community here have really been committed to the idea that genetics and the human genome can begin to open the problem. This is an example of a project that brought together human geneticists, a classic immunologist, and a developmental neurobiologist. Each of us comes to the table with a different perspective and a different body of knowledge and brings our students together and that was where it really became amazing. Our hope is that this discovery is going to help lead to that kind of biological understanding and to treatments that are truly new and affect the underlying illness and not just one symptom. I think the success reflects, frankly, the brilliance of uh, individuals like Steve McCarroll and Beth Stevens and their students, colleagues, but also this uh, collaborative model where we don't have to wait for rounds of grant making and we don't have to worry about uh, whether somebody at one institution can share material with somebody from another institution. Uh, we're able to attract these amazing people and let them solve problems. When the Stanley family made its incredible philanthropic gift 18 months ago, we all were extremely hopeful that it would let us get beyond just lists of genes, but to actually work out the real biology of the disease. But I gotta say, I never expected it would move this quickly. The fact that a major gene pointing to a completely new pathway that hadn't been causally implicated before, that that would come out in 18 months was more than we could have ever hoped for. We have now an idea of what's going wrong. And this, of course, will suggest ways, perhaps, of intervening in the disease process early uh, so that instead of just treating downstream symptoms, which is what we do with antipsychotic drugs, maybe we can stop this process in its tracks. Broad has really enabled uh, those types of collaborations. Um, and so it's, it's been really exciting and I look forward to, to the future.